Well, on this primary day, voting in the Hasidic village of Kiris Joel was closely scrutinized by Department of Justice officials. News 12's Blaze Gomez shows us why. It's not private voting. It doesn't seem very private when you can see over the shoulder of voters at the polls in Curious Joel. People are sharing the flyers that go back and forth with the who the government is telling them to vote for. On Tuesday, Concerned Citizens Group United Monroe leader Emily Convair took issue with these sample ballot cards we found left behind at the polls in the Hasidic village, suggesting voters cast their primary election ballots for Carl Brabenek for assembly and Andrew Cuomo for governor. Our office is working very hard to make sure that everybody is represented equally. Orange County Elections Commissioner Sue Barron, who's been under fire for not allowing outside poll inspectors in the village, says voters are allowed to use the cards, but are not supposed to leave them behind like we found or share them inside the polling place. Concerns that had volunteers over the shoulders of inspectors. Poll watchers aren't alone here in Curious Joel. You can also see their sheriff's deputies on standby, as well as feds both here in the village and town of Monroe. Just doing the best we can to ensure that the election is fair. Allegations of voter fraud and concerns about the Hasidic bloc vote that have been the center of controversy in Monroe since last year, sparking calls for more oversight. And while village and county officials maintain there's nothing illegal going on, Barron says she understands there's concern. I recognize that there are people that are that are looking for some changes and, um, you know, I'm willing to sit down at, at the table and review what we what we do here at the at the board. In Curious, Joel Blaze Gomez, News 12. Well, Curious Joel released a statement yesterday saying they support the actions of election officials calling requests for additional oversight at the polls unfounded.